tackle by Richardson. Didn't get first touch. Nichols. With 16 successive losses at the MCG since 1994, the thought of a trip to headquarters and a meeting with the Tigers was hardly appetising. The first quarter should probably have been Richmond's. The Tigers had twice the scoring shots, but with four straight goals, the Bulldogs were in touch. A huge second quarter from Paul Hudson, who had nine possessions, and the Dogs down by nine points at the long break. This is the view that Paul Hudson has. 40 metres out. That is all clear. That is all clear. That's just the start that the Western Bulldogs wanted. Kick in to half-back flank. Darcy. Geez, some space here on the forward line. Hudson. And Hudson, 45 metres out right in front. Still day, breeze no factor. They need it. The trail by 14 points. That is home. Right through the middle. Yeah, there's no doubt about his finishing abilities, Paul Hudson. Hudson's kicked uh, the total score for the Bulldogs. Two goals. He's kicked down to Minton Connell, who slips away from Gaspar. Minton Connell goes for the goal. It's pretty close. Oh, I can't quite call it. He likes it, though. It's home. What a goal. Richmond have kicked just three behinds this quarter. Bond towards the outer side. Nichols. Mind you, the Bulldogs have only kicked one goal, too. Oh, should be a goal. Darcy. They're in front. Well, he must know how to play that. He would have watched the videos and the matches in the flesh. Montgomery goes over the top. This Darcy. is very close. Thumps it long. Ooh, it's it's home. It is home, boys. Right through. Great goal by the story of the match, though, was the last quarter. Time and again, Footscray put the ball into attack, and the goals just kept on coming. Kick, what a kick! Just the start the Bulldogs wanted in the last term. Free kick, wine to Smith. Good distance again. Oh. See, Simon went with the hand, went for the yeah, chest mark again. Here's right. Brown. It's in the goal square. Oh, it's goal. Brown might have kicked oh, this. Oh. Bulldogs in front. Oh, oh. Gasper. High kick by Campbell. Dimitina. He does go up and Watch under a lot, Wayne Campbell, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He spoons him a bit. Liver's, Dent. liver's in trouble behind. The play's coming off. Montgomery's taken the mark inside 50. Darcy's calling it in. He runs in very balanced, and he's put it straight through the middle. Ooh. Bulldogs by eight points. Cameron to Johnson. Short pass. Hudson. He's looking a bit tired, Paul, but uh, look, he needs to really utilise his good skills here. Minton Connell, a juggle. He's near the white line. Oh, not a bad hand pass. Goal. Dent gets it. He actually had the right lead there, but uh, just a not, not enough weight on the kick there, Gary. There's some space uh, here. And running hard, Rowan Smith. Now, Rowan Smith. Can he set it up like he's done Great before? Kick. Darcy. Now, Ned, that is, you may point out here, even though... A seven-goal final term with Cameron, Smith and Wirra in total command gave the Dogs victory number two. The Western Bulldogs will go on from here. That's a four-goal lead. Set ploy there and, uh, well, the Western Bulldogs have been a wake-up to, uh, to that today and uh, have even employed it against uh, Richmond. Rowan Smith has kicked the ball kilometres today. Shepard. Oh, Minton Connell! A goal! Smith Besterfield from Liberatore and Johnson. The main goal kicker was Darcy. He kicked four. Minton Connell kicked three for the third week in a row. Uh, we probably, uh, you know, didn't really sort of know how our season was really going to unfold. You know, we, we'd beaten Sydney, but we were only beating them by seven points. And we knew our fitness was there, but we didn't know really quite where our football was going to take us. And um, we were, I think, down by 10 or 15 points for each quarter leading into the last quarter and um, and we sort of blew them away in the last quarter so it really did spur us on to, to bigger and better things. Yes, I just saw him then. Sorry I gave it away, yeah.